Hello and welcome to MM Design or mm, Design. My name is Maria and the second M is a uh, secret. <laughs> but you can guess it down below. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm marvelous. That's the second M. Maybe I'm a magician. I don't know. We'll see. Today we're going to be talking about trends, fashion trends in particular, for spring summer 2023 accessories part two. In part one, I talked about basically anything that was happening on the neck ears, face, head, and this time it's gonna be everything below that area. So, because I know that everybody doesn't have the time to hear about the liking and the sharing, so I'm, not, I'm gonna skip that part and think that you would do it by yourself. That's great. So, let's just jump into the thing that you came here to see, and that's the accessories. So, when I talk about them, please look at how they're styled together because accessories on their own are like okay whatever maybe you have that thing how can you rewear it in a new fresher way that is the thing to know so let's start with bracelets we see a lot of super chunky stacked bracelets on both arms of like the same bracelet or different bracelets stack on top of each other like rick owens bracelets are basically like a six inch sub there are crazy we have really chunky chains or maybe just like wonder woman bracelets happening we also see them being just like on one arm but still very chunky yes they're really easy to see they're there if you don't like the style i'm pretty sure you can just get away with nice something nice and small but if you're a lover of huge bracelets it is your time to shine honey so we have in dress van noten glass versions of that as we talked in the previous video and this is basically everywhere belma also had very huge humongous voluminous bracelets in wood and leather even like in metal in chanel you would think that chanel is more like ladylike and stuff they still had very thick bracelets and they're there we can't run away from. We also see bracelets on like a um, higher portion of the arms. Maybe they're just like under the elbow or above the a elbow. I don't like highlighting that as those are <laughs> really big on me. But if you have skinny arms, why not? And like, how are they there? Like, how are they holding up? I, yes, I have so many questions. So I've talked about thick bracelets, very humongous ones. We also have some medium ones that are kind of layered together um, and they're there too. Single bracelets, of course, it's classic, like how can you go wrong with classic? So you don't have to go big if you don't want to. Basically, that's the statement that we're seeing, hearing. We have like sets of rings and bracelets as well. We see them being more like on a shiny side, like from Fendi, stack them. Dolce Gabbana, I think those are gloves with like bracelets sewn on, but I might be mistaken. <clears throat> we also have just like little uh, leather bracelets stacked. We also have like just simple bracelets on both arms, like symmetrical ones. We also have like an ankle bracelet, you know? But I really don't like those. They always make me bleed. <laughs> Anyways, next one up is gloves. We see a huge amount of gloves on the runway. And I know what you're talking. Like it's so inconvenient. Like uh, do they have little things that you can use with your phone i hope they do because other than that it will be so not comfortable taking your gloves on and off to take a picture uh, that is a one of my main things why i don't wear gloves although i really like them it's like who else is going to touch my phone for me am i gonna need to hire somebody for that anyway so we have them in variety of lengths usually like really long almost like opera gloves situation where you don't really see if it's a glove or if it's like a 
a top that just continues on or maybe it's kind of like the end is hidden underneath the different garment like we see right here in Gucci for instance we also have like them in different materials more of leather more of a fabric one like an off-white it's definitely interpreted into like part of even a like a hood or like a top we also see this being part of like dresses as well like in Givenchy right here you can see like you can't tell if there is if they're separate or not well here you can but you know what I mean you know what I mean they can be mesh they can be oh, like just very almost like tights but for your arms and they're styled in so many different ways more like classy like in Erdem we also see them in more of a sporty combinations we see this in a variety of sheens like here you can see in Dolce Gabbana we have some lace ones as well as just regular ones just yeah a very vast representation of gloves some net kind of gloves from dior and yeah so we've talked about how it is really inconvenient to have gloves and use technology at the same time so designers did think about us and they've said how about we present you with fingerless gloves oh uh, it's just like the open toe boots for me honestly i really dislike fingerless gloves i feel like they just beat all the purpose of the glove of being like super nice and classy yeah i just really don't like them unless they're like sporty ones like the like biker ones like i'm okay with those being fingerless but and when it's like a really long one and it just does not look good for me at least like if it, if you like it you like it but i am not gonna wear it watch me like buy that in a few months and be like oh i love it so much no <laughs> it, it it's one of the things that happens with me really often all right let's move on to rings rings are really hard to capture in the runways but here we, i've seen a few so we have like multi finger rings like in alexander mcqueen make sure to be very safe while traveling with this because they might be confiscated because they are like if you're flying with it on your in your carry-on or something they might be confiscated as well as bags with those like Alexander McQueen loves those bags. Anyways, you've been warned. Okay, we also have just like simple rings, but they're on a larger scale. We do have like a few rings of the same kind on one hand, as well as just a single ring. So I guess it's completely up to you. I do love to interpret like bring rings into my outfits a lot. I just find them to be like this one very little tiny detail that just works and yeah so in dress one note we have the glass rings they're really statement ones out there we also have just like very simple ones as well nothing too crazy we have like a spike <laughs> right there it's a, a little bit dangerous i'm they also might be confiscated honestly i would if i was like a flight personnel trying to keep everybody safe but let's move on to belts so we do have belts it's obvious thing like belts are very useful they keep our pants up and they can sometimes even tell where our waist is but we have different ones of course and worn differently we are not no longer only accentuating our waistline although right now you can only see the waistline ones and they're huge but here in versace you can see it being worn on the hips so that's the ytk so we have belts super wide almost like a corset in Dolce Gabbana. We also see them being quite thick in, in Louis Vuitton, but Louis Vuitton was all about having like super dramatic oversized like buckles and stuff. So that's completely realistic. We also seen this in a Balma as well as Carolina Herrera, more on like a classy version, like not super oversized, but I really like belts um, because I have a waistline and I like to show it. We also see Mason Margello having 
not a belt but kind of like a tank top work as a belt which is very interesting thing we also have multi belting having them stacked we also see some y2k moments of the waist more like a decorative belt and being worn lower on the hips and it of course depends what kind of pants you're wearing so it you might want to have like a little chain on your waistline with the lower rise just to accent that or if it's a low rise you just need a low rise belt you guys that's that's what it is and we've seen this worn with pants with dresses just kind of like having an extra something there once again on the waistline or just below we now you can see there's a, a few thin belts as well I don't know if I really like the thin belts, I guess depends on the outfit, like maybe having super thin belts right on your waistline just to highlight it a little bit more. But other than that, I don't really see the usefulness of them because they, if they are working to hold up your pants, they're just not going to look right <laughs> because the pant holes for the belt aren't that small and it's going to like waddle anyways we also see belts in like more of a practical thing like in Miu Miu even having like almost like a like industrial work belt you almost like where is your hammer like there's something missing in this picture we also see a lot of belts in a more like an industrial format where um, like more of a sporty one too, like maybe even resembling some kind of a parachute belt situation thing. If you're enjoying this content so far, please consider to like this video and maybe to give me a little comment down below, maybe a little critique, but don't be mean. That yes if you're not already subscribed please do so it will mean so much to me and if you know somebody who loves fashion please 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 share my video i am growing at a very slow rate because i've been studying a lot so i wasn't very good at uh, posting regularly so my growth has like stopped i would really appreciate this let's move on to socks yes we have some socks and sandal actions and socks and heels and anything above the line so as i mentioned in my shoe video having watched that you could you should there are plenty of shoes and socks that are kind of matching in color and they kind of look like super tall boots or even like endless boots i really like that i it's really good way to make your lo legs look way longer than they are we also have just like a little tiny socks uh like in chanel they're a little sparkly calf high socks knee high socks you name it we also have stockings or like hold ups out there on the runways as well that like for instance in versace we also have monograms tights from valentino Gucci had a few different ones as well, but no monograms on those ones. We also have some fishnets. Tights are really fun to experiment with for sure. As well as just like really bright ones, the, the ones that I talked about, like continuation of the color. With the red tights in particular being present in multiple of our ones. All right, let's move on to kind of a body jewelry. You can see there's like a lot of bralettes that were made with like little crystals, maybe even just like body chains all over, like in Stella McCartney. I really love this look and I would really like to try to recreate this from thrifted chains or something like this. I think it would be a really cool project to do and would just be worn underneath a blazer. We also have Dolce & Gabbana, almost like corsets made out of rhinestones as well as like little bralettes as well. We also see like really sculpted bralettes as well. Like in Sportmax right here, you can see a spiky one or these star shaped ones out here as well. They're pretty cool, I like it. Viveta also really beautiful as well as David Coma having that featured as well and brooches you guys if you like brooches they're a little bit on the classy like old 
fashion granny core vibes it's completely fine you know you do what you gotta do you like you, if you know what you like this is like one of the greatest things and we see a lot of flowers they're kind of either material or metallic flowers in kenzo plenty of those we also see little flowers in prada made out of material i'm not sure if they're sewn on or they're brooches though we also see more of metallic kind of brooches in jill sander and dres van noten also having those glass continuation but in a brooch format which is really fun i also somewhat ran out of time in my previous video to talk about this but i wanted to mention a few trends that were con con kind of in all of the formats so for instance we've seen a lot of shells and aquatic kind of situations where we have the necklaces bracelets earrings as well as we see a lot of like unfinished stone like we've seen it in louis vuitton and the earrings and bracelets as well as some pendants and much more other different jewelry so something that combines them all kind of a trend you would say we also seen a lot of wires so something maybe a choker around the neck or like from Caperni show as well as maybe some interesting shaped earrings in a wire format we also seen this around the bracelets and as well as the belts so you can definitely see that trend going on there can't you right right i'm not the only one right <laughs> We also see some more of a grunge movement as well with having spiky chokers, maybe spiky rings, uh, earrings as well, more of a spiky thing going on for sure. As part of these trends, we also see florals having either a very chunky necklace in florals or maybe really big statement earrings. We also see this in a more fabric a situation happening here as well, uh, like in Prada with those fabric roses on as brooches. Alright you guys, so this was a part two of the accessory trends. I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below of what you think of the trends that I've covered so far. Once again, I encourage you to check out your closet, figure out what you already have, and then maybe go back to the videos and go to that section and re-watch it again just to see what is the new way you could wear it again and make it fresh so you don't have to buy a new thing. Honestly, most of the fashion is styling, so if you can just figure out how to wear that same item another way, it's just the best, the best way to do a sustainable fashion, in my opinion. And of course, accessories are really easy to interpret into your outfits and spice things up a little bit so if you just like to buy something small maybe like a new belt and figure out how to freshen up your outfits like this this is also a really good way to do it once again my name is maria i really appreciate you watching to the end i hope you're having a great day if you'd like to see more about what i do day to day how i dress up uh, daily then i encourage you to check out my instagram page i post almost daily outfits like if i'm editing the whole entire day then i'm not gonna be show you what pjs i'm wearing i hope you're having a great day and stay classy bye